Sit. Paul. Paul. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Morning. She's uh, a bit foggy out here this morning. Yeah, I know, Spud. <laughs> Apologies for lack of videos. Uh, we've been bagging potatoes up absolutely flat out. We've bagged over 200 ton now. And uh, the rest, well, there's some bags going this week. We've got three lorries coming in this week. Croson's potatoes. And then two of the lorries picking up uh, 12 pallets. So, you know, we're trying to do over 50 ton, 50 ton a week nearly. Um, but this morning, I'm just basically having a play about on this field. This field's probably one of the uh, funny, funny soil types. It is really. It's uh, on a bit of a hill. I assume it's an old like riverbed or something, and uh, it can be proper heavy at times. Um, so what we did was we chopped the straw on here. We didn't buy it, we chopped the straw because it's got, got a lot of black grass in this field as, this little field as. And uh, so we chopped the straw and then we went with that uh, old drag that we got out of the nettles and dad went and dragged it and we've just left it. We have done nothing to it, we've just left it. So now I'm sort of trying to power harrow a little straw in, a bit of stubble and uh, sort of stir it up a bit, spread it about. But dad might end up ploughing it anyway. We shall see, the GPS has just kicked off, that's nice. Uh, we shall see. Anyway, there's Spud, he's doing well. Um, he's locking, locking the tractor. Ain't you mate? Hey, you're a good boy. And uh, yeah, he's sticking to his little mat. But this is the sort of job we're making, uh, sort of mincing it up from, from that over there, which is a lot of straw. Uh, I know it don't look pretty, but we might end up ploughing it anyway, like I said. But I've actually got dust. I have got dust still. It's extremely foggy. It's damp this morning, which is not helping things. Um, but yeah, we've sort of we've had spud what a week, nearly two two weeks now, I think. Oh, I can't remember. But yeah, he's doing he's doing absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he's happy, happy enough. But we have got the sugar beet harvester man. He's turned up a week late. He broke down, can't help that. But he's turned up today, which we're all happy about. So Dad's just down there pushing the first load up on the heat, uh, and then he'll come back and finish ploughing this field just there. Um, but yeah, he's turned up, so which is good. Getting the beet lifted. Uh, I know next week's not going to be that great for drilling, but we'll we'll have to see. We're going to plough the two fields down down here but on farm two we might not plough it because it's quite a heavy-ish field um, we will see so I don't know whether you I said uh, these two fields this field here and the one behind the yard is coming spring barley uh, that has been ploughing over the weekend and uh, over at farm two what's coming beans and uh, well uh, spring beans and what's coming spring barley as well uh, and we're going to plough everything what's coming spring crop basically we're going to plough it because uh, in some cases it works out cheaper to plough than it does to put roundup on um, you can argue with me on that one but in some cases cultivating it let it grow up green spraying it around up probably cultivating it again if you feel like it uh, works out cheaper than just going right we're gonna play it um, so it's like this field if this grows up green again we could just taz over it with the discs or I don't know what that's gonna do with this really if you play it it's horrible it takes about 12 days to knock it down it's this horrible field um, but arguably you could drill straight into that you could drill straight into that really I don't know. We talk for hours about different establishments, I suppose. But I'm not gonna. Anyway, this time last year, I believe, if you look back in the videos, 
I was direct drilling for the neighbour. Uh, he's recently bought his own direct drill, so he's cracking on with that. Um, but anyway, it's the 14th of November, it's the 15th of November tomorrow, which is my brother's birthday, so he's still the one that does um, some of the editing now. He's the one that puts it on his computer because he's got a faster internet than me. Um, and uh, sorts all like the like and subscribe uh, things out in the, in the intro out and I, I edit the videos uh, but he does that and it's his birthday tomorrow so put in the comments happy birthday his name's Matt so uh, my brother so yeah happy birthday to him for tomorrow ah we got that field power Harrod had a bit of dinner uh, let Spud go for a uh, run around the garden around mum and dad's garden uh, got the flower mower on Croson's are coming picked up 10 uh, pallets as well dinner time just put the flower mower on the beet harvester should be round round here somewhere but this fog is absolutely awful it's coming down it's coming down a lot worse than I mean, it was this morning I think actually but yeah just going to tidy up around the outside of the field before we plough them um, yeah, I think we'll plough them after sugar beet. Um, these fields down the fen uh, on the home farm are fairly black soil, so they should plough all right. It's just the field, one field of sugar beet over at farm two uh, that's a bit, be a bit heavier, but uh, the dog's steaming up the windows. Dear, oh dear. Here we are then, just having a trim up around the outside to uh, do a couple of rounds around here. But there's not much, not much top really this year uh, because of the warm weather that we've had. I think the sugar beet just sort of packed up when it got to that heat. And uh, yeah, but well, I'm not. Well, we're not expecting great yields. Then again, we can only have what's there. But, you know, the barley looks all right from here, look at that. But I can't see a damn thing. Can't see who's working, where. I know Martin, the neighbour, is over there ploughing somewhere. Sugar beet harvest is somewhere around there. Uh, I did say I'd try and get my drone, but I don't think the drone would be any good in this weather. I'll try and get the drone footage of the beet harvester, because I didn't do last year. Got a bit of the beat harvester working, but other than that, I'll try and get to him today. If not, I apologise, but we're flying. We're flying. Come on. It's a horrible day. It really is. Foggy all day. Um, and it has, oh, well, normally down here, if, it, if the fog clears by 12 o'clock, or if the fog's still here by 12 o'clock, it's going to be foggy all day. Um, but he's mocking on. He's done 12 acre. He's dropped in this field, and then there's another... Uh, eight, nine acre, I think it is, over at farm two. So we'll uh, we'll go and have a look at the beet harvester in a minute, and just taking Spud for a little stretch of the legs, then we mate. Um, but yeah, we'll get some footage of the beet harvester for you.
though, we're still flailing. Old Spud's gone home though. He got a bit, uh, got a bit restless, got a bit fed up. So uh, the little lad's gone home. But just want to get this field done. We just started the headlands in here. Want to get this field done before it rains tomorrow. The fog's coming down now, but it's meant to rain tomorrow. And rain literally all week, so. If we get it fly out, this track can go on the combi drill. Um, we'll do it like that, so then the flower mowers can come off. Because tomorrow we're bagging potatoes, we're back bagging off. Flat out, got 24 pallets to do, um, and then a further 10 as well. So, anyway, on that note, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you later. Many thanks. See you later. Ta.